North Korea's long-range missile capabilities are more advanced than they appear, according to South Korean intelligence, and this places the United States under an even greater threat than some may realize. South Korea's Defense Intelligence Agency delivered a closed-door briefing to lawmakers here in Seoul in the wake of North Korea's first Hwasong-15 ICBM test of the year. Referring to an intercontinental ballistic missile, Saturday's test saw the ICBM in question launched at a lofted angle before it came down into open water after around an hour of flight. And the North hasn't yet test-fired an ICBM at a normal angle, raising skepticism about whether it has the capability to really strike the US from long range. We learned from lawmakers Wednesday that the South's intelligence suggests North Korea has all the capabilities and that it is adjusting its timeline to pressure the US so that we could soon see it test an ICBM at a normal angle as well as developing its solid fuel technology this year so that it can more quickly prepare missiles for launch thereby potentially catching enemies by surprise. And lawmakers were told the North is highly likely to launch a military spy satellite this year, while it could also yet conduct its first nuclear test since 2017. This all fits comments directly from North Korea. Leader Kim Jong-un vowed at the end of last year to exponentially increase his country's nuclear arsenal, as well as to develop an even more powerful ICBM. And his sister, Kim Yo-jong, this week warned that North Korea could use the Pacific as a firing range, which would be a shift from those ICBMs fired at a lofted angle before coming down in waters between Korea and Japan. She also insisted the North does have the required technology, even if there have been doubts about whether it can build warheads that could both fit on an ICBM and survive atmospheric re-entry. Coming back to this idea of pressuring the US, no doubt Washington does have a dilemma. Opposition from China and Russia has made it impossible for the US to lead further sanctions against North Korea via the United Nations Security Council. As Beijing and Moscow blocked 10 UNSC meetings held on the North in 2022, despite an unprecedented number of North Korean missile tests last year. And this pattern of allowing the North to get away with ballistic missile testing has continued this year, with Pyongyang refusing to engage in dialogue with Seoul and Washington. That's left the Allies preparing for the worst through joint military drills, while the rest of us watch and wait.